The Adventures of the Black Hand Gang The Treasure in Breezy Lake Part 5 The Locked Door Frank had seen the name on a mailbox nearby. Well, said Angela, let's go and brave the wolf in his den. Oh, let's wait till daylight, Frank suggested. When they came back to Windmill Street the next morning, the motorcycle had disappeared. They went into the house and found Fraser's apartment up in the attic. Ralph rang the bell. No one answered. Frank tried to look through the keyhole, but it was blocked. Let me try, said Angela, and she waggled the door handle. The door was locked, but they heard a voice calling. Oh, I'm ill in bed. Please go away and leave me in peace. Ralph had already taken his special penknife with its 17 different attachments out of his pocket and was unscrewing the door handle. He pulled it off and pushed through the other side of the door handle so that he had a peephole. He put his eye to it and whispered to the others, The bed's empty. Angela had a look too and said, Fraser isn't there, but I know where his voice is coming from. Where was Fraser's voice coming from? On your paper and pencil, write the number five and look at the picture and see if you can figure out where Fraser's voice was coming from.